and welcome back to Clean Air on Air, the weekly news roundup brought to you by the Clean Air Action Fund. This week, we're talking about the, the new oil and gas threat map, an influx of swimmers and boaters in the Delaware River, and the health concerns over the proposed Renovo Energy Center. Let's get into it. Earthworks and Frack Tracker have updated the interactive oil and gas threat map to reflect 2020 to 2021 data. The map shows all active oil or gas wells nationwide, 1,482,810 Pennsylvanians, including 290,123 children, live or attend schools or daycares within a half-mile threat radius of active oil and gas operations. Earthworks says those living within a half-mile radius of an active well have cause for concern about potential health impacts or from oil and gas production. The half-mile radius indicates that it's the distance at which impacts have been clear, most clearly correlated. The map is based on peer-reviewed scientific literature and studies. You can find a link to the map in our bio. The Maritime Exchange for the Delaware River and Bay is concerned about boaters and swimmers using the Delaware River because it is too crowded with cargo ships and barges along the 27-mile stretch near Philadelphia. President of Maritime Exchange, Lisa Himber, says having people swimming and floating around in tubes, kayaks, and paddle boards in and around the, mar the marine terminal section of the river presents safety, safety and maritime security concerns. But Delaware Riverkeeper Maya Van Rusum begs to differ and says the Delaware River belongs to the people and to nature. So people should be allowed to enjoy it. And we agree with her. Local, state, and federal officials are considering upgrading the Delaware River's designation under the Clean Water Act. Environment New Jersey, the Clean Air Council, and Penn Future a support upgrading the designation because it'll help protect the quality of the Delaware River. The proposed Renovo Energy Center for Renovo Borough would add dangerous emissions to the area. In fact, according to the Clean Air Council, the facility would have an annual output of more than 100 tons of particulate matter, approximately 54 tons of sulfur dioxides, and over 300 tons of nitrogen oxides, and over 100 tons of volatile organic compounds, including formaldehyde, which is a human carciner carcinerogen. The developers of the Energy Center has, have promised clean jobs and clean air, but you shouldn't believe anything they say. For ways to take action and to prevent the building of the Energy Center, visit the link in our bio to visit the, the Keep Renovo Healthy website. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Leanna McNew, and I'm signing off for Clean Air on Air. I'll see you all next week.